Hey guys, we're going to bore out the exhaust port, the exhaust to manifold port, the exhaust output port. And um, we're going to be using some boring tools. Um, do want to be of a reasonable, reasonable quality. I've used these for quite a while, and about 20 years, and, um, and they've, always, they've always worked okay with steel, so they should be fine with cast iron. Um, I've got the smaller one in for test purposes, and I'll show you about that, about that later. Um, you're going to need, uh, this is the, uh, it's a pedestal drill. Um, for the size, we should have it set at about 350 RPM, but we don't go down that low. The lowest we go to is 520. Uh, so that's it. But it's, as I say, it's cast iron. We should be okay, um, and we'll, uh, we'll lubricate it. Um, there's the, the the setup okay so we've got the small boring tool in at the moment for setup purposes and um, we have the the the, the bench uh, pivoting now I've got this I have this to 52 degrees and I don't know why the designers would choose 52 degrees but and it may not be absolutely perfectly correct but it seems 52 degrees is does seem to work um, I've run I've run the drill and uh, brought the drill down so you can run the, the drill and uh, bring it down And it catches all the way. Which is a nice test. It scraped, it scraped the side all the way down. And uh, so... 52 degrees it is. <laughs> um, setup is, a, is, is quite tricky. Uh, you're going to need um, some threaded rod can see here threaded rod the big solid washer on there and um, at the top nice piece of um, I'm using alloy and uh, an aluminium alloy and um, so we can clamp through this is not central which is so bloody annoying the um, the, the exhaust output is not central so when I was originally set it up, I set, I set, set it up over the, the cylinder over the hole running through the bench. And um, obviously it was wrong. So the only thing to do is to, is to sort of get it reasonably tight and then take your copper and hide and literally tap it and use the smaller... Uh, boring tool as a guide and so you 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 try and get it in the middle and you look I mean literally you're using your eye to see because it's a casting you know and it's without a dial test indicator we can't you know we, 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 we're struggling so you, you do it and then you you can run that test by uh, by by running the uh, the drill, the borer, and then going down and and see. I mean, before you run it, you can you can you can go up and down, uh, feeling it and, and feeling that it's that it's all uh, nice and running true. And then your final test is when you run it and you take it down, and it should just scratch the surface evenly all the way down. And if you're doing that on both sides. So if you come uh, scratch on, on this side and then you scratch on the other side, then you know that there's not much more you can do, really. Um, we aren't absolutely critical. Um, they've, they've bored it, actually. They've bored it not central to the casting, which and I'm wanting to bore it out. And I'm just hoping that I can keep it central but I don't know whether you can see this but it's very thin on this side you can't see it's very thin on this side and and a lot of meat on this side so 
I'm going to measure up anyway the other um, the other one, and um, it's going to take the manifold off now. I've just been setting this up, and maybe I'm going to have to reposition the ball, you know, a little bit more central to the to the casting. I don't want to get the casting too thin at at, at this side, but that's how it's that's how it's done. Yeah, first off, get your angle, and um, so that you, you you're getting upright, and then clamp up. And um, and using your copper and hide, move move it around until uh, you've got it central, and um, and away you go. And yeah, you know that will take you some time, or you'll just fall on it. But you know that's how we uh, that's how we set up. Okay, so I'm going to um, take off the the manifold, and um, and then we'll we'll have a go at boring. Okay. In a bit. Okay, so we're ready to uh, ready to start uh, boring now. Um, I've got the the twenty five in, and I've already just made it, made a start to have a have a look. And uh, twenty five um, cuts big, so getting the twenty five. Let's just put this on the right on. Um, doing with the twenty five, we're going to actually see how how much bigger um, it's 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 cutting. And um, we want 29, and uh, so yeah, we'll get an idea. Okay, and it seems to be cutting okay with, uh, without sparks. So I haven't put any uh, lubricant on it. It's, it's cast iron. Normally, you wouldn't machine with lubricant, but perhaps if it was sparking and and such, um... no, it's not ideal. Um, but you need to just go down slowly. Like that, okay. Okay, so if you go through with the uh, twenty-five mil, it cuts big, and um, we should be able to see and confirm you're setting up. So hang on a second; it should look like this. Let's switch the auto focus off. Try that. Oh, yeah. So if you look at the bottom, it's, it's equally round, the whole way around. You can't see it on uh, one side, but you can see it's, it's round. So it's perfectly centered. So you can, with, our, with your eye, perfectly center the, um, the casting exhaust output. Okay, and it will cut perfectly down so that's yeah that's great very pleased with that as you can imagine um, what I've also noticed as well is that this this tool as it's got down it's got better it was cutting bigger and so there will have been some some of these teeth are, are just out slightly and um, I mean they're not I don't think they're designed for um, for precision um, milling you know um, at all they're for for sticking holes in in, in, in stuff um, so so when you get them check them I've actually ground down uh, for the 29 mil because you know I could see that, that one or two were were just pr proud I actually have, have just ground a little bit round to to clear up to clean them up so we're going to see how it how it cuts and we're going to measure um, measure this bar but i don't think that we're we're close to um our yeah 26 so it's cut it's cutting it's cut one milli over okay um
I think the hurl is going. I think the exhaust is going to be um, slightly large, but you know we may have to um, we may have to pack it with some exhaust exhaust paste. You know, um, there may be nothing else uh, to do about this. You know, um, but we're going to do it. We're going to uh, put this in. So right, okay. So next stage, I'm going to pop um, pop this boring tool onto the mandrel, and um, we'll pick it up from there. <clears throat> okay, I've got the 29 million. Uh, I've just reviewed the earlier videos. Um, yeah, apologies for repeating a little bit and just going on about the uh, the, the setup and and everything. But it's not easy making these videos and can't go back and change it. So anyway, there we are. Also, the other point as well is um, the the boring tool went down. Uh, circular central to the original bore so we're just gonna have to live with that and hope that the um, that the uh, that the side wall is is gonna be okay because that's how it's um, it's it's gone that's how that's how the setup is and um, I've added because we've gone up a size and we are running too fast I've put a bit of oil in to see um, if uh, if it if it needs it, uh, it, it may just help it it cut. As I say, normally you don't need to um, to lubricate cast iron, but it may be quite could could be a toughish uh, version of cast iron, and um, and so uh, yeah. So anyway, we'll put a bit of oil on and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but we're ready to uh, to start boring, and um, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, it's running fast. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just get it started so that you can see where you are. Okay? That seems to be cutting quite well, that tool. It's the first time I've used this, this tool. Never used the 29mm before. So, anyway, that seems to be cutting quite smoothly as a brand new tool. So, um,. Yeah, perhaps it's going to leave a better finish than the uh, the the twenty five mil, which I've used obviously quite quite a number of times. And uh, also because I've cleaned up those prominent teeth, there's um, there's less there's less less judder. So that's quite a good thing. Is 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 going on and making sure that your prominent teeth are. I just tidied up a little bit, but you could hear that it was cutting quite quite nice. So uh, yeah, so we're going to go down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I've, I've used oil, and um, and it does seem to have helped uh, the, the the boring tool uh, bed in, and um, and once it's bedded in, it, it's beginning to cut quite nicely. Now you can hear this by the sound. So if we, I'll just pop a bit of oil there around the edge of the boring tool, 
and there. That's cutting. That's cutting nicely. And it will be leaving a nice finish. Okay, and we can go down quite easily with that. switch that off because it's going down nice okay so here it's 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 finished it's done you can see quite a reasonable finish um, I've stopped short if you can see that the ring at the bottom if you can just see there's another ring. it's because the manifold tube that I fitted was a touch short so I've just gained two or three millimeters that may may help slightly and you can see it has evened up the, the sides. It's a little bit thin on this side compared to this side, but we're okay. We're okay. So um, put the... Uh, It's just a bit slappy. It's like half a millimeter too too slappy. You know, there's nothing we can do about that. These are the tools that we had, and so you know we're going to have to actually make sure that that's got a gas tight seal. But I think that's okay. You know, we we expected that. We expected that, and we're going to live with that. And uh, yeah, we haven't got anywhere to. Um, we haven't got anywhere to put the um, the O-ring now, but um, anyway, you know that's 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 the mod. You know, sometime in the future, we'll, we'll I'm sure we'll we'll change the barrel again. You know, but uh, at least this is going to bring our old barrel back into play, you know, which was a, a nicer, uh, faster, uh, more fun unit. Okay, so there we are. That's that's how the um, the exhaust output port can be bored out using these um, distant, distant type boring tools yeah with with success as well okay good luck with that